Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another reading. The energy is intense. If you guys are new to the channel, please like this reading. Thank you for all the love and support of the channel. Today, since it's Halloween, I felt like doing some general messages. I will be focused more on the zodiac signs next week, okay? If you want a personal booking with me, email me. I am available for all personal bookings at this time. But I must alert you to the fact that I'm only doing email readings. If you want a personal email reading with me this holiday, this beautiful Halloween holiday weekend, email me. If you just got some questions, one question, two and two questions answered, ten dollars, email me. If you need some, if you need some information real quick this weekend, you guys reach out to me. Thank you once again for all the love and support that you have shown me. It's been an amazing journey as a reader. You know, it has its ups and downs. Anytime you're doing energy work, it's very, very serious. This is why everybody can't everybody can be a tarot reader. It's not for everybody, but for the ones that it is for, it's it's draining on readers. So you know what? If you if your mom is a reader, your auntie, you know, your best friend, show these readers some love, man, because it's a lot of work that goes into it on an emotional level, energetically. Readers deal with a lot, okay? Now, every reader is not honest. Now, every reader is not sincere, okay? That's going to be up to you as a viewer to get a reader that resonates for you. And also, every reader is not supposed to be in your life forever. There's going to be seasons, okay? There's going to be different seasons for you as an individual. You may resonate with one reader for a, for a year, okay? For, for two years, but you're going to go on six months, three months. You're supposed to elevate, okay? Whoever your favorite reader you're currently energetically connecting to is who you're supposed to be currently ener energetically connecting to. That person is supposed to be in your life at this time on that energetic level, okay, as a reader. Because that's who you're resonating for or with the most. But in a couple months, a couple weeks, okay, in a year's time, you're supposed to evolve, okay. That doesn't mean you can't still love that reader, okay. But there's going to be someone else that's going to come along and be where you're, where you're at on that at that particular time for that particular season for that particular level give these readers their respect okay because a lot of people don't respect these readers okay and a lot of people leave negative negative ass hateful ass remarks you know i'm sincerely honestly true to what i do okay it's my passion and you know what it's what i'm supposed to do it's nothing fake or phony about me or my channel okay or any other readers that i resonate with energetically so if you're a tarot reader watching this reading, whether you have a YouTube channel or you just pull your own cards, I want to say I respect you. Please do your energy energy work, okay? Energy work this weekend. If nothing else, you know what? Say some positive affirmations, okay? Say some positive affirmations. Now, once again, happy holiday season. Happy holiday. Happy Halloween. It's been a lot of crazy energy. The karmic energy has been heavy. Okay, I just I just posted a reading. Okay, I just did a reading and it was pretty intense from your masculine, your twin flame, divine masculine, or your divine empress. Take it how it resonates. But that person is in some pretty desperate energy. This person, you know, your person, they want they want you to know they just need a time to figure out where they want it to be. It sounds selfish, but that's just the reality. Okay, they're holding on to memories of you. This person may have an item that you gave them, a text message that you sent them. They're still reminiscing, okay? They're still watching it. They're still watching that video you gave them, you sent them, or you made with them. Excuse you. They're still reading your old text messages. They're still looking at pictures you sent them, okay? Can I get more messages for the collective? Wow. We got time. Okay, time. They know they've wasted a shitload of time, collective. They know that. Your person may be an attorney. They may work in the legal field. I definitely see someone walk, um, walking through the mall right here. They may have recently purchased a nice watch or they will be, or they want one for Christmas, okay? I'm definitely seeing a Rolex. Yes. Someone may have gifted your masculine with a nice Rolex watch recently, or this is something someone is gonna give him for Christmas, or this is something he has on his Christmas list, okay? This may even be something he wants to gift you with, okay? I'm hearing a Tiffany watch. Oh, wow. Chanel handbag, Chanel perfume. Okay, this guy, this masculine, this person wants to gift you with something very nice for Christmas. 
He may even have gifts that he never gave you, okay? He never gave you. He never got the courage up or whatever happened. Caused him not to give you something. He may still be holding on to that. Yeah, there's, the gift energy is coming out strong here for this particular reading. We have two gifts. Yeah, he may have a couple things saved up that he hasn't given you. Or there's a couple gifts that he wants to give you. He may be scouting stuff online right now. Or he may have been in the past looking at different things. Different nice. I'm definitely hearing jewelry. Handbags, purses. I, I even hear a car. Okay, this man, this masculine. It may be a female masculine. Take it how it resonates. Your person certainly wants to give you some gifts. It is the holiday season. Christmas is coming up. Okay, let him know. Let your masculine know what you want. Okay, let him know energetically. He's with you every day anyway. Okay. Hey, masculine, I need my car fixed. Can you come help me out? Okay, put it through the atmosphere. He hears you. <laughs> he hears you. Archangel Michael, can I get more messages? What else is going on in the collective on this beautiful Halloween? Wow, we got anger. Okay, I'm definitely hearing he suffers with an anger problem. Okay, he suffers with an anger problem. And I'm hearing he's mad at himself that he's taking so much time. Okay, he's mad at himself. He's blaming every damn body but himself right here. Okay, he's blaming every damn body but himself. The masculine, the masculine, the masculines need to understand this is a process here. This is never going to be perfect. The union, the union between the divine masculine and the divine empress is never perfect. Okay. It's never going to be perfect. Whether it's your swim flame or your soulmate, it's never going to be perfect. So he's punishing himself. He's mad at himself for taking so damn long. Taking so damn long. Some of you guys, your masculine is very, very shy here. And that's been a crippling factor for them in this particular situation. You intimidate him. Okay. You intimidate her. Wow. Yeah. Some of these guys are definitely going to be getting you some jewelry for Christmas or they want to. Okay. These guys want to, they want to do nice things for you. Yep. Some of them have been crippled by their own fears and anxiety and intimidation of you. You know, I had someone reach out to me on Facebook and I finally, you know, I accept it. I usually, when I accept people's friend requests, I don't necessarily always, they jump right into your DM and they want to talk. So, you know, a lot of times I see these messages, but I never respond. But this particular time I responded and he was like, you know, I've been watching you for a long time, which gave me the creeps. I thought, wow, what took you so long to finally respond? And he said he was intimidated by me, which I thought was weird because I'm just a normal person here. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm normal, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it took him a long ass time to finally reach out to me. And I feel like this is happening for some of you guys as masculines, okay? He's intimidated by you. He's mad at himself. He wants to do so much for you, but he's been he's been his own worst enemy. He's been he's been in his head a lot. He's been in his head a lot. Okay? And that's been a problem. If you want something, you gotta go after it. You want that new Mercedes, you don't you're not gonna be scared to go purchase that. And you know what? The Divine Empress is worth way more than a Mercedes here. She's on that Bugatti, Porsche, okay? She's on those levels that are untouchable, okay? There's no price you could put on the on the Divine Empress here or the Divine Masculine. They're priceless individuals. These, these are divine beings, man. These, these people are not like ordinary, everyday people, okay? God has Divine Empresses and Divine Masculines. He has these people strategically placed on the earth, to help the damn earth, okay? To help his people, to help God's people on the earth. You know, divine masculine. For this particular reading, I'm picking up on a lie, a lie. I'm hearing a lie, okay? I'm hearing a lie. So your divine masculine have been lying to himself, okay? This particular group of divine masculines have certainly been lying to themselves, okay? Wow, I'm hearing thinking they didn't need you, thinking that they could live them, thinking that, okay. This divine, okay, they didn't want to believe in this union. For some of them, they didn't believe that they were divine beings or they were divine masculines. Okay, I'm definitely picking up on shy. I'm hearing the name Peter. Yes, I'm hearing shy, intimidating individuals who did not believe that this union was real, that this connection was actually real, that they were actually divine beings, you know. And I'm hearing, yeah, don't believe the lies. Okay, for a long time, they may have been telling themselves a lot of lies too divine masculine man if you're watching the reading don't believe the lies don't believe the lies accept this thing accept it embrace it and you know have faith and know that anything is possible
and you are destined, divine masculine, you are destined for someone that's your equal. That's someone that's your perfect mirror. When you guys look at each other, you know, you see you see yourself in each other. Okay, it's not a lie. It's true. Okay. I feel like a lot of them have been just flat out intimidated and scared. And that's been a problem. A lot of them, you know, have been caught up in karmic situations. Playing games. A lot of them have played a lot of games, man. They took too much time playing, playing with this thing. Okay, they played a lot of games. Some of them are, were just too intimidated and too shy. Some of them took they took too many chances playing with your heart, playing with your feelings, playing with this damn connection. Okay? Some of them need encouragement. Some of them need to encourage themselves. Someone needs to stop believing the lies that other people have been telling them about you and about this connection. Okay? Some of them need to be strengthened at this time. Some of your masculines are Leos. Okay? Wow. And I'm hearing some of them, excuse me, some of them have certainly been watching you online. Okay? Wow. Can I get more messages for the collective? What else is going on? He certainly wants to give you a piece of jewelry. Okay? Yes, a nice ankle bracelet, a nice diamond necklace. Yeah, I'm hearing Tiffany's. There's something significant about Tiffany's. You know, Tiffany's is nice, ladies. Okay? Wow, gentlemen, if you're watching. Yeah, this may be a Sagittarius here. Divine masculine. Cheating. He may have caught a karmic cheating recently. Okay? That's for some of these masculines. Some of these masculines have been out of it by the karmic for cheating as well. Okay? Playing all these damn games here. Wow. In denial. Some of them were flat out in denial about in denial about who the hell they were. They didn't want to accept the fact that they were divine masculines, okay? They didn't want to accept that, like, what they were, what the hell is a divine masculine? What is a divine empress? You know what? You taught them what a divine masculine is, or what a divine empress is, okay? They, I feel like this person wasn't used to being loved, man. They thought, you know, they, they thought they were. They thought they were. Until they met you. This person has never let go. They never let go of you. Although they played a lot of games for some of you. They never let go of you. They never let go of what they felt for you in their heart. Yes. There was a lot of lies that have been told to the Divine Masculine about the connection and about you. Okay. Wow. He has... He Okay, I'm hearing. He's very impatient. Some of your Masculines are impatient and you know what? They're easily triggered to anger. Easily angered. They may be very irritable at this time, especially if you have him blocked. Okay. He can't talk to his Divine Empress. He can't see her. It's got them angry. Some of these divine masculines you have tried to unblock and send requests to, and they're angry at you, and they're trying to punish you by not accepting your friend request, which is only which is only prolonging you guys from coming back into union. Okay, so it's like a vicious cycle of game playing that these masculines do. Can I get some more messages? Feeling defeated. Yes, feeling defeated. Some of these masculines are in the energies of. Not being happy at this time, stuck in their egos, okay, pride, feeling arrogant, they feel alone, especially if you have him blocked and you finally walked away. Okay, we got fights. Wow. He's ready to fight for you, or he's always wanted to fight for you, but for, for ew, excuse me, excuse me, for, for such a long time, some of them have lacked the courage. The intimidation factor is huge for this particular group of masculines here, okay? The intimidating factor is huge. He's used to the gold diggers, okay? He's used to going after the arm candy. He's used to taking care of women. He's used to women only dating him for his money, okay? Or he may have a certain type that he's always went after, okay? The high-end type of women or whatever type of women he always goes after, okay? It's certainly been a problem for him because you're certainly not what he's always went after, okay? You're, you're, you're probably completely opposite of what he's always dated, but he has to see this thing from a different perspective. And I think he's looking deeper now, okay? Or he needs to be looking deeper into that. You know, why do I always attract women that, you know, only want to use me? Why am I entertaining these type of women, okay? Oh, I'm hearing because they make you look good. They made him feel good. But they didn't fulfill him on a soulful level. They only left him feeling defeated and broken and heartbroken, okay? 
cheated on, lied to, cause them to be angry, always keeping conflicts at home, always fighting at home with these karmics, okay? Wow, can I get more messages for the beautiful collective? What's going on? What else is going on? Mm, chaos. They already leave him feeling conflicted in a world of chaos. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then he met you, okay? Things, things certainly turned around when he met you, but you know what? Look, conflict. This is what he's used to. This is what he's used to. He's used to conflict. He's used to having to argue every day. Or he's used to being in situations with people that are conflicted. Okay? Divine Empress ain't playing that. Divine Empress ain't playing that. Yes, there may be a... Okay, for some of you, your, your masculine and the karmic have separated, or they will be. He, he knows something has to give here. There's a lot of stress and a lot of conflict, a lot of anger, a lot of fighting in a current relationship that he's in with a karmic divine empress, okay? Something has to give, okay? I am distracting myself to avoid thinking about you playing these games, okay? You can distract yourself. You can distract yourself all you want, divine masculine, but the divine empress... She lives and breathes in your soul, and you can't, you, you, you know what, you just can't escape that. You can keep distracting yourself all you want. Some of them know they messed up with you, okay? They know they messed up. Excuse me. They know they messed up with you. But, you know, instead of coming and face you like a man or a woman, this individual is choosing to distract themselves. And, you know, the more, oh my goodness gracious, the more they distract themselves with karmics, the deeper and deeper they get into dangerous situations that are completely unhealthy and even downright toxic for them. Okay, can I get more messages? Excuse me, babe. Look, we got Jackpot. Your Divine Masculine may have recently came into some money. Oh, you know what? He will be. He will be. But he wants you to know no matter how much money he got, he continues to be in these conflicted situations with these karmics. Same, same stuff, different day. Okay, we got waiting. You know, he's had you waiting for a long ass time. Okay? Or he may be waiting for some unexpected money. Or he may be waiting for an inheritance or a payout, payout from a lawsuit or a legal suit here. Okay? Yeah, he may be waiting on a opp financial opportunity to finally close the door on that relationship with that karmic and be gone. Yes, your divine masculine, okay, you're, this individual, your person, he may be with a karmic that's, you know, trying to use scare tactics. Yeah, she may have, the karmic may have literally tried to set him up with a trap here. I feel like this with the photo proof, you know, she may have staged, she may have staged a scene to make it look like he was caught cheating or... To make it look beneficial for her to try to intimidate the divine masculine to stay. This is continuously caused a lot of conflict. Okay, he's with someone that keeps a lot of drama up. A lot of conflict here. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She may have him followed. She may be she may have this masculine followed here. He may be he may be getting followed by her. GPS tracking. And I'm also hearing she may have one of her male friends. She may have had one of her male friends try to intimidate him. Intimidate the masculine, okay, in some way, in some way, okay? Mm, the ways of a woman is unknown. Can I get some more messages for the masculines? He wants you back. She knows it. She's trying to follow the hell out of his ass, Okay. She trying to follow him to see if, she, if if it's gonna lead, if it's gonna lead him straight to your house. Okay, divine masculine is certainly being advised to be cautious. Okay, yeah, some of them we got moving, we got moving twice. Yeah, we got moving twice. For some of them, they already left these karmics. For some of them, they are leaving. Okay, they have tried to leave. She has continuously tried to do these scary tactics to keep the masculines to stay. She may have evidence of him. In some un uncompromising positions, or she may be threatening him, saying she does, okay? She may be using scare tactics at this time to keep the masculine from leaving. He's been waiting, okay? Your divine masculine has been waiting for some sort of financial situation to turn around. 
Now, that's not going to be for all of you, but for some of them, it's been the case, okay? He wants you to know he wants you back, okay? He's sick of this chaos. He's sick of it, okay? He's tired of this conflict. He's tired of this same shit every day, okay? He's always been playing a lot of games. That's been a problem for him, okay? But he's also letting you know he's been distracting himself. He's had to distract himself to keep from thinking about you. He's losing patience with that, though, okay? He certainly wants to give you something. The karmic, the karmic she may have caught him trying to buy you something, purchase you something online, okay? He know he messed up with you. He knows it. He knows it. Yeah, the karmic certainly may have caught him cheating or she may be using scary tactics. Okay, she may have caught him years ago, but she may be using things over his head now to keep him from leaving. Okay, it's got him enraged. It's got him mad. Okay, she's always accusing him. Oh, you're always cheating. And then he's he's always defending himself. You're always, you're always accusing me of cheating. Okay, you're always accusing me of cheating here. You're always accusing me of cheating. Why are you so why are you so insecure? Okay, this is what he's saying to the karmic. Why are you so insecure? Okay, I'm sick of this shit, Tiffany. Okay, Megan, I'm sick of this shit. That's all you calls is chaos. Okay. Hmm. Yes, the game plan in this relationship with the divine masculine and the karmic is at an all time sickening low. The sickening low. Okay. He may have initially dated her for her looks or, you know, the way she made him feel sexually or the way she made him look publicly. She, he may have initially been attracted to her for her image situation. Okay. She, he wanted her for her looks and the way she made him look publicly and sexually. He wanted, she wanted him for financial reasons. Okay. It's like two conflicting people came head to head. They came, they came face to face with each other. I feel like there was a trauma bond that got these two still connected to each other. Okay. They're always damn fighting. They're always fighting. I feel like the karmic is always keeping up a lot of damn shit. Okay. Whew. I feel like he, even at work, he's thinking about, oh, it may be the only time he gets to really think and really, really process what he wants to do with his future. Okay. He knows it's time to do something here before someone seriously get hurt. You know, and before before the damage becomes too great that it can't be fixed, okay? He's losing patience. He knows it's time to make some sort of drastic change, okay? Yeah, he knows it. Today, the Divine Masculine knows it's time to make some changes, okay? Pay attention. I spoke about it in my last reading. Now, I don't know which one of, re one, which one of these readings is going to go up first. But I spoke about him making some unexpected contact. I spoke about him making some unexpected contact with you. He may be currently packing his shit, packing a U-Haul. He may, he may be doing that in the near future. Okay. Wow. He's saying, how did I get myself into this? And how the hell do I get myself out of this? I done messed up. Big time. Okay. He met his match. He met his match when he met this Carmen. Yeah, she make you look good. But how does she make your soul feel? How does she make your soul feel? She make your dick feel good, but how does she make your spirit feel? She Okay, a woman is supposed to make a man's dick hard, not his life. <laughs> I saw that somewhere on Facebook, okay? Well, she's making not only his life hard, she's barely making his dick hard at this point, okay? It's got her mad too. Well, you don't want to sleep with me. You don't, you don't sleep with me no more. You don't want to sleep with me. You, you, you want to, what's the matter, okay? So it's a lot of stuff going on in that relationship. Can I get some final messages? Remember, take what resonates for you and your masculine. Yeah, we got moving and we got the fool. It's no doubts, okay? He knew he was, he know he was, I'm hearing that everybody plays a fool. He played the fool for this karmic. He fell for her hook, line, and sinker, okay? He fell for that shit. Men always, not all men, okay? Not all men. Okay, men fall in love with the looks, okay? Women fall in love with the words, this is why women wear makeup and, you know, men lie, okay? Whichever way that goes. But he, he, you know, he fell for it. I definitely feel like this is a karmic that has played this game with multiple damn men. She ain't, this karmic ain't new to this. 
But with the fool and divine masculine ain't new either. You're not new to it either, but he met someone that was smarter, okay? He met someone that was way out of his league in terms of manipulation, you know, okay? In terms of how low she will go. Man, this woman will go, okay, I'm hearing she, he, divine masculine certainly don't want to piss her off or mess with her, okay? Because she's willing to use scary tactics. But with the fool and moving, some of these men, some of these men, okay, these men, okay, I'm from the South, honey. Some of these guys and girls, okay, because some masculines are women. They, bless you. Some of these guys and girls, some of you guys as people are already out the damn door. Some of them are packing this weekend. You want to know what your masculine doing? He packing, girl. Miss girl. He's packing. She's packing. She's having somebody come move her stuff out the house. She's having her brothers and her father, for her safety, come get her shit out the house. Because she can't be in there with his crazy ass and she make her move. He's having a moving company come get his stuff out. Or he's having his friends come help him move out of this house, this apartment, this living situation with this karmic. Because, you know what, it's not safe for him to try to do this on his own. Okay. Or he may... He may get his stuff later. It, it, I, I feel like it's a lot of conflict within the karmic and the divine masculine. I feel like little by little, he's he's making he's making these he's taking things out little by little from some of them. Okay, it's real bad here. It's real bad. I think even for his safety, it's better to have people with him as he moves. Okay, call your homeboys to come help you get your stuff out. But with the fool, he's certainly taking the steps. He's taking the steps. This is new opportunities. New beginnings. This is what the fool represents. Taking that leap of faith towards your new beginnings. New opportunities. And I feel like he is. Okay. New opportunities. And then we got Cancerian energy with the chariot. He's on the move, guys. We see that when moving. You want to know what he's doing this weekend? He's on the move. Now, that doesn't mean he's literally moving out of his house with his karmic this weekend. Now, although for some of you in the world, it could be. But overall, he's on the move. And now, if this is not physically, this is emotionally, this is spiritually. He knows that it's time to make some steps towards a brighter future. Okay, he doesn't want he doesn't want this bullshit ass energy in 2022. Okay, wow. Final messages. Uh, final messages. And uh, final messages. Final messages. For some of you, this is an Aquarius. You're masculine. Your masculine is a divine. Uh, divine Empress, Divine Empress, okay? Divine Empress Aquarius. He's on his way to fix this situation with you. Some of them are going to come move in with you, but you got to be careful here, Divine Empress, okay? Don't let him just come back through that door that damn easily. Yeah, he's on his way to fix this situation with you, okay? Excuse me. Yeah, I saw the Knight of Swords. Yeah, he may be 28 years old. He's on the way to fix this thing with this beautiful empress. You're his, you're his latest, his greatest inspiration. Be on the lookout for him. I love you. God bless.